Greetings and salutations to subscribers and those who have found us. We're very pleased you've tuned in for another weekly indicator analysis video. We think we've got all the technical issues worked out and we're ready to roll. Initially, we tried recording a data stream last Friday, but felt that it really didn't offer the best opportunities for showcasing this indicator, so we waited until this week to reshoot it. This baseline indicator was developed in 2021 by MT4 coders, and while we've seen more than one version, we're going with a specific one submitted from one of our subscribers, Ron H. So thank you, Ron, for sharing something from your trader's toolbox. Naturally, we made a few of our usual adjustments, which we'll explain. The default view is what we shot on the video, but we'll show you a quick screenshot of what to expect when reading the blog and setting it up for your use. In this initial shot, we thickened up the white colored channel. The channel was used to suggest stop loss levels. We have our own way of calculating stop loss levels using the no nonsense 4x way, so we got rid of them to clean up the chart. This is the way we suggest using this indicator as a baseline, as noted in the blog. We also changed the candles to a darker shade of blue and red to provide visuals of the indicator's reaction with price. This past week provided us with a fat handful of ideas, keeping VP and I busy checking them out. Great stuff. Thank you. Please keep them coming by sending them to stonehillindicator at gmail.com. We'll let price action roll for a few seconds to get you acclimated to the screen view before we begin commentary on those educational moments. Once we find items of interest, we'll pause and resume as necessary. And away we go. Okay, let's start our program from the short signal. Your entry would have been on the open of the blue candle immediately following the long red candle. Let's see where it goes. All right. So price cross and close above the baseline. What does that mean for us? First, remember that we generally do not use baselines as exit indicators. But if you did, then you'd have grabbed a bunch of pips, even if your algorithm did not get you out on that price retracement. Or if you're just joining the party, you may have considered it as a long signal. But do you jump in? That would have been an instant loss had you based your decision on just one indicator. Had you stayed true to your algorithm, you may have earned a few more pips before price closed above. And the cycle repeats. Do you close out your trade? Or if you're just joining, are you prepared to jump in on a long trade? That could have been a long trade had your indicators aligned, and depending on what the numbers were, you may have been able to make a few pips. Otherwise, price backing down on itself would have taken you out. It's fine. That's what the market does. Just record it and move on to the next setup. Occasionally, price will cross and close above, then quickly reverse in the next period. Again, totally normal. Let your algorithm give you the signal of when to get in. A baseline alone is not a signal to do anything. Pretty obvious signals on this indicator. It gave great results in the gold and Bitcoin markets, so if you trade in those base camps, it may be something you definitely want to check out. Does it work on other markets? Yes, it does. But during our testing, it did not return numbers quite as remarkable. Just remember, markets flex differently over time and results will change to accommodate those market dynamics. We've been asked if the baseline should come first before everything else. There is no hard and fast rule that your first confirmation indicator can't be the pointy end of your stick. They're interchangeable. Sometimes the math makes one quicker than the other when identifying the start of a trend. Experience will guide you, which is why you should not be trading live for at least six months or until you can book consistent profits. Remember, this is a long game, not a get-rich-quick overnight racket. Beyond the educational lens, we cannot offer financial advice. You knew that, right? However, VP and I strive to bring you what we think is more important, the information to give you the knowledge to make money using your brain not the guesswork of another who really doesn't care about your money. Leave that business to others less informed. You got this. After all, this is Stonehill Forex. There is a lot of free information for the new and experienced trader, including informative blogs, resources, broker information, and of course, the only VP-approved, no-nonsense Forex course created from over 80 hours of material that we condense into a logical, easy-to-follow, 10-hour, self-paced course 
you can complete in a couple of days. If you feel that this video was helpful to you, please consider giving it a thumbs up and then bouncing on over to Trustpilot and registering a quick 5-star review. Your reviews let new traders know where to begin their own journeys into trading and avoid the static that can really send them down an abysmal path. You can actually make a difference in someone else's life. And be sure to sign up for the periodic digest we put out each month. We discuss up and coming projects, items of interest and everything the trader needs to know. You can sign up on the website from any of the blog pages or just click the email list tab at the top of the page on our website. If you want to get the most recent digest, email dan at stonehillforex.com with the title latest digest please in the subject line. You'll have it within 24 hours. We're also on Facebook answering all kinds of Forex questions on Quora and of course generating more helpful YouTube videos on our channel. Come on over and browse the site. We think you'll like what you find there. Our only goal is to make you a better trader.